do list. It is said that misery loves company, that the scorned will lash out in retaliation for the transgressions of the past. The screams of the tailament have been heard throughout the dueling community. Many have heard this cry, offering slots of 40 and 60. I've heard these lamentations, and I only have one response. Cry more. It's been a long time, and my journey as a duelist began long ago. But back then, I wished for a world of true battle. A world where duels will not cease with powerful opponents and challenges. I've lived long enough to watch that dream become a reality. And lately, my dueling spirit has been burning with the desire for a new adventure. So I think the time has finally come to bring my skills to the forefront and to set my gaze on new goals. The time has come to never meet. All right, my boys, let's talk about the Valance Musket combination. So this deck is really unique because obviously we can utilize our Pendulum Zone to activate the Musket Monster's effects. But Musketeer Max is such a game-breaking card all on its own. You only need one Musket Monster at any given time to go off against your opponent. Now, you know the main deck that we're playing against is the Tear Lament Archetype that does a lot of things in the graveyard. It has multiple interactions that you cannot access, which gives this deck a true advantage. And they say that this deck is a high skill deck because of that reason. You know, honestly, watching people play this deck is more of a RNG simulator. They're just milling random cards, hoping for good outcomes. And that's not how I like to play. How I like to play is very strategic utilizing all of the assets that i can uh, access and one of those um, assets is field placement you know monster placement there's a synergy to playing each monster in the correct space look at this guy going off this is the funny thing about terrible i can talk to you about all these different things and this guy's over here crying over here giving me all these lamentations listen to the sorrows that this man is putting out right now wah 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 that's all the tear laments do wah 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 keep crying cry louder tear laments look at him building a full board over here while i'm talking to you about all these things so let me get back on track my boy so this deck has a lot of potential which you will see this is like the maiden voyage for this deck. This is the first time I've really played this deck out into the wild. So I'm still making play mistakes with this deck. I'm still learning this deck, you know, but I feel like as long as I'm putting this deck out to the masses, as long as this deck is going out to the true duelist, my boy, this deck can be mastered and fully broken. But, but I've only cracked the surface with it so far. Look at how he's still going on over here with this play. Now, what I really like about this, he's gonna throw out his effort, put all this stuff on the board. I'm about to show you how we're gonna break this man down with just one card, my boy. So look, now we top deck the card that we needed, but we were gonna search this card out. But this card is called Magical Musket Dancing Needle. If you control a Magical Musket monster, target three cards in the graveyards and banish them. Let us continue. Now, you see this hand, he has his Time Thief, he has his uh, Drago Stapelia, and then he's planning on popping off some effects in the graveyard because he's got the boys down here. I'm not worried about anything because I have this card in hand because I top decked it, it's amazing. 
And then I also open with Magical Musketeer Starfire, which is really good. When I play my Valance monsters under Magical Musketeer Starfire, she'll special summon another Fiend level four musket monster or lower from the deck to the field. Basically saying, when I put this monster on the board, I get to do one of three things, okay? I'm gonna draw two cards. I'm gonna summon a monster back from the graveyard or I'm going to um, search out any uh, magical musket card. Pretty busted. So first off, he stole the top card. He stole Shinoname. Summon Magical Musketeer, activate the Veilance monster in the Pendulum Zone, triggering the effects. He responds from the hand, of course, sure. But that's the whole thing about this deck. I want my opponent to respond. I want them to play cards. I want them to do everything they can against my Magical Musket mercenaries so that the Veilance can emerge and bring forth victory. But that's if they're but that's if they're strong enough to, to fend off my mercenaries. Some of these boys can't even survive against my first assault. The Valance is the secondary OTK. So, all right. So I just put out the Magical Musketeer Casper. Now Casper searches the deck for any Magical Musketeer card, not just Spell or Trap. Also, these zones your opponent have are also live as well. So if your opponent plays a spell or trap and it resolves and this card stays on the board, you're gonna get the effects of any musketeer card. So this card's gonna search my deck for a spell. I'm gonna search for the negate because he has no spells and traps on the field. I have the monster negate on in hand and the graveyard banish in hand. It's GG for this man. So we summon out Max. Max is definitely prime for Ash Bait. This card says, Based on the number of monsters your opponent has, add spell or traps to the hand. This card says, based on the spell or traps your opponent has, special summon monsters from the deck. So this card can summon five monsters from the deck, potentially. Five monsters from the deck, from his summon alone. Absolutely incredible. But we're gonna go off right now we're gonna summon one monster. And you might ask, why did I summon one monster and not get three spells? He has a field spell up, which is cool. And then he also, um, I can use this monster to get a monster back to the field because we've already used um, the, uh, the Starfire to uh, summon a monster. So we need to bring out an extra body and we have a body in the graveyard in Casper. So we're gonna bring out Calamity and play the Senate Switch. It's about to get political right now. So then we're gonna summon a monster from the graveyard and then we're gonna go ahead and exceed summon into the card that's gonna end this duel, Abyss Dweller. Now, we already know that Abyss Dweller will clap this deck completely and there's nothing this man can do. And I have not unleashed my Valance combo, which includes Duelist Extraordinaire, which will prevent Abyss Dweller from being destroyed by battle and the completed Valance combo, if it does not OTK, I will have up negates. So, this Abyss Dweller will win this duel on its own. It's nothing this man can do. And I've already got Spell Trap negates. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not Spell Trap negates. I got the Banish in the graveyard and I've got the Monster Negate in hand. So watch this. I'm gonna activate my Valance cards because now I'm done with the Musketeer combo. My whole Musketeer combo was just to summon Abyss Dweller and to get some activations from this man. And that's exactly what I did. But by summoning the um, Valance Archer, he now has the response because this card is a negate and it will also put your attack in half. So he has to respond right now. So he responds with Drago Stapelia. He's gonna use Stapelia targeting Abyss Dweller. He must have forgotten I've got hand traps that I searched from the deck, my boy. I searched it from the deck, my boy. Put your attack to zero and negate your effect right now. Then we're gonna chain Abyss Dweller to that. Ripperino Bean Burrito. Now he's gonna go ahead and try to use his graveyard effects. And now we're gonna hit him 
with the dancing needle. Now we're gonna hit him with them needle fiber. Make sure that fiber's in his diet, my boy. Now that's it right there. They say that this deck, they say that the Tillamon deck is tier zero because it's a high skill deck. Because you gotta really think deep with your plays. But if all you're doing is activating cards and hoping for shit to go in the graveyard so that you can activate it to maybe have a response, it's called an RNG generator. And that ain't high skill to me. But anyway, they say luck's a part of skill. But you know, it is what it is, my boy. So look, this combination has destroyed him. Draco Stapelia, negated, Abyss Dweller, banish the grave. You already know what's coming next. You already know what's coming next. Give me my resolution. Give me the resolution for revolution. Give me the musket and the Valance combination to send these tier laments back. Y'all not ready for this, my boy. Y'all not ready for this, my boy. Let's look at the deck list. All right, my boys, this deck list has a lot of things to talk about. So I really want to try to sum this up pretty quickly. So what this deck is, is a main go sec, uh, mainly a go second deck, focusing on OTK and the opponent. And we don't plan to go into turn three. We don't plan to go beyond that. We plan to end the game in the second turn, point blank period. You have two OTKs that you can play in this deck anytime you go second. The first OTK is gonna be with Musketeer Max. All you gotta do is summon a monster off his effect and you can win the game, flat out. All you gotta do is be able to summon a monster off his effect. Each monster does something different, which I'm gonna go over, and then also each spell trap does something different, which I mean, I'm gonna go over. But I'm only running a certain amount of spells and traps, so you gotta pay attention. So basically, I'm only running the Monster Negate, the Graveyard Banish, the spell speed three spell trap counter and the and the special summon this card here is really unique because it lets you special summon another magical musket monster but also it blocks an opponent's monster zone they can't use that monster zone so this has a unique interaction that other decks don't have but so this this will take a monster zone from your opponent so keep that in mind it can become useful also while this card is in the hand if you have a musket monster on the field it can be used to chain block and i use it to chain block a max effect all the time so i think that's really valuable additionally um as i just go over this there's a lot of musket cards that you can use a lot of variations i just thought four in a 44 card deck keeps it not only from bricking but but doubling up so that was just my theory there this deck is 44 cards because honestly i cannot get rid of these four cards cine switch the valance worlds and um valance wars you kind of need that in this deck and i will explain it to you in this manner number one if you need a spell card on your opponent's turn sometimes your opponent ends turn because they have a nothing but hand traps in hand. If you want to put a spell on your opponent's side of the field and turn off their end perms, when you activate Valance World and then you summon Max, you can get a monster off of that and they can't activate end perm to stop you because they have a card on the field now because you put a field zone over there. And then of course, if you've done that through this effect, it's going to help you set up to do more Valance combos. So. It's just an essential piece that I could not take out of the deck. So I decided to just wholesale, just throw it in on top of the 40 cards to make sure that I kept everything else solid. So this deck focuses on basically hand traps. So you have three Ash. And why am I using three Ash to stop my opponent's Maxi? You have three Maxi. Why am I using Maxi? Because I'm going second and I want to draw a bunch of cards and make them scoop it up. I'm using... Um, two called by the graves and then my uh triple tactics talent i did have a nibiru in here because to punish off of maxi but honestly max punishes hard enough and i don't think i need nibiru to help me uh to break boards if i have maxi and they put all these cards in my hand if i get maxi and i draw all these cards and i get tactics and i get all these musket cards in my hand like 
I mean, if if I if I lose after that, then it's just GG. We're gonna talk about this card. This is the main monster in the Valance deck. This card can only be made in this deck by using Proxy F Magician. And the reason why I have this in here is because this whole extra deck is made to break boards. And sometimes you need to break boards in a unique way. So I got Proxy F Magician to help me fusion summon into this card to push monsters into the spell and trap zone. I've won crazy amount of duels by putting monsters in the spell and trap zone rather than destroying them because they don't get their effects. Tears get their effects when being destroyed, for example. And then also we have Wind Up Carrier Zen Mighty. Now y'all probably don't even remember this card, but I used to play this card back in Duel Links, and I also a lot of people used to play this card back in the TCG. But this card is gonna is a rank three exceeds monster, not rank three. Uh, yeah, rank three. Yeah, rank three exceeds monster that can special summon a Wind Up from the deck, and the Wind Up that we're summoning from the deck is Wind Up Kitten. It was really helps to break boards. So basically, think about it like this. When you use max effect to summon all these monsters out, you're gonna get your two level threes on the field. And once you've used their effects to your delight, you go ahead and exceed summon and you bring out Zen Mighty. Zen Mighty's gonna summon out the cat and get a bounce. And then you're gonna link both of those off for security dragon under max and bounce another monster card. And then you're gonna link from this into Nightmare Unicorn and bounce another card. And then you're gonna go from Nightmare Unicorn to Access Code, and if it's anything else, let's have Access Code talk to him. Clean that field up. You're gonna do all that under Max's arrow. That's how crazy this deck is. Abyss Dweller kills any graveyard strategy easily made in this deck. Tons of level four monsters with the Valance and the, um, musketeer cards uh heavy metal foes electromite i like that i have been using this card a lot less since i've went into using this strategy because this card is not accessible in the tcg so i want to make sure that i can make this deck you usable in the tcg as well and i think that this is definitely going to be helpful because i've been using electromite less because i've been using max a lot more also wednesday adams to catch your opponent off guard and eat up their monsters also, it has a really strong graveyard effect. But my boys, this is the deck. I didn't talk about the Valance combos much because the Valance combos kind of speak for itself um, in other videos. But I want to talk more about the Musketeer combination because the Musketeer combination, I gotta show off this prismatic, my boy. The Musketeer combination is just hands down the strongest strategy to come out for this deck in a really long time. And I don't, and I haven't seen anybody play this at all period so i'm gonna need your boys to get out check out this video my boy enjoy the rest of these duels and as always keep it dang you gotta really take your chances lick them nanny uh not this not this And give me this. And give me this off your link summon. I know you're gonna link. I know you're gonna link summon. I seen this deck. All right, here you go. Watch it. I'm gonna link summon, dog. Do this shit. Look at him. Link one, dog. Uh huh. Dang. I need a monster. I need a musket monster. Oh my god. I need a musket monster for game. Please. Any musket monster for game. Game. <laughs> Any musket monster for game. Ah, game. Yeah, that's what I like to see. All right, so first off, we're gonna just normal summon our guy. Is there any response? I do wanna draw cards. Um, let's go ahead and play Mad Marquee. No response. Well, my musketeer has a response. A response to draw two. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. This is an excellent exchange. Let's win this duel. 
All right, link one into the max. Link one to the max. To the max, baby. To the max. Let's go. I'm going to special summon a whole bunch of monsters, man. Now, what I could have did actually was put the Valen field spell out there, but I didn't want to do that because I wanted to have a spell card to activate from my hand to do some of these effects, but neither here nor there. So we're going to have to place this card here. Yes, sir. We're going to have to place this card here. Yes, sir. Place and place. Yes, sir. All right. Now we're gonna have to set the pendulum scale. Yes, sir. Let's go full combo. Let's go full combo on this man. Huh? He's gonna summon a monster in defense position? Okay. Sure. Well, I'm searching the deck, man. And I've got something for that back row unless you use it right now. All right. Well, we got you, homie, because I'm about to search I'm about to search the negate right now, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, we got you. Ooh, and I'm gonna push that back. We got you. I got the negate right here for you, okay. Yes, sir. What does this do again? <laughs> no, my Valance! Possible. <laughs> He's destroying the wrong cards, folks. <laughs> Not my Valance, <laughs> please. Anything but that. Ooh, when your opponent special summons, do something crazy to him. All right, well, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna activate this card right here. I'm going to be adding, yeah, I gotta add the blue because Mad Marquis right here. Might need to summon him. Activate and special summon a level three. We're gonna need level three because we're gonna have to do my Zen Mains combo. So first we're gonna go into rank three, summon the Zen. Activate effect, pitch to summon my Meow Mix Kitty. Me wow. Then we're gonna activate our effect and we're going to bounce. And then we're going to activate our effect. We'll activate our field spell. Put it over here. All right, we're gonna have to link two. Uh, one and two. And then we're gonna summon our boy right here. Security Dragon. Security Dragon. Send you back. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna have to go hit you one more time. One, and two. Yep. For the Nightmare Unicorn, my boy. Sayonara. I'm gonna see you later. Say goodnight. Uh, we're gonna send uh, this one back. All right, and then we're gonna special summon. This is where it gets spicy, boys. Roll that dice, baby. Roll that dice, Mr. Marquis. One, two, three. Four. Ooh, Mr. Marquee. Mr. Marquee. I don't even have a movement, Mr. Marquee. What are you doing here? I don't even have a movement. Mr. Marquee. You're teasing me. All right. I'm gonna play this right over here. We're gonna activate the effects. We're gonna summon Shinoname. And we're gonna use Shinoname. And we are going to do, 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 do. We can do a whole lot of stuff, actually. We can do a whole lot of stuff. Let's just end it. <laughs> Alright, let's just end it. Alright, here we go. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna bring out the access code. Talk to him. 
<laughs> Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go.